All right, the feds are coming for Rick Ross, but not in the exact way. No Rico, no murder cases, no gun charges, no nothing like that. But it has something to do with Rick Ross's Wingstop locations. And before I get to the story, I was actually at one of his locations in Florida last week. And I seen the thing that said Boss Wings. And I looked it up and it said that Boss Wings LLC was Rick Ross's company. So, you know, I went there. The service was good. And all that food was good and all that. I didn't have any problems at all in that store in Broward County, Florida. But as we know, Rick Ross owns several, um, five in Mississippi, some in Florida and a few more in the south now. Right. The feds actually cracked down on Rick Ross's um, restaurant pretty much saying, right. And here's, you know, <laughs> got to talk about this. Right. The Department of Labor Wage and Hour Division says that Mississippi stores under Boss Wing Enterprises, right, made their employees illegally pay for uniforms, safety training, background checks, and even cash register shortages. Wow. Restaurant industry employees work hard, often for low wages, and many depend on every dollar earned to make ends meet. Um, and this is from Jackson uh, Wage and Hour Law Division. Wage and Hours were if a company didn't pay you, you know, um, you would go to Wage and Hour to get the money back. I had to do that for a company a long time ago, so I'm definitely familiar with the name. Now, the law prevents Boss Wing Enterprise LLC from shifting operating costs to workers and to allow workers to pay to fall below the minimum wage rate, right? So they... they they can't be below minimum wage. They have to be paid at minimum wage, right? Now, the rapper, Rick Ross, actually did post up. He posted up a response, taking responsibility. Take time to address something. When you run in a business, there will be mistakes. But as the biggest boss, you never make the same mistake twice. You see? Accountability. Taking accountability when you're the biggest. And remember this. Most successful people don't take stumbling as a setback, but actually a stepping stone to greater things. You hear me? Let's be. So that's Rick Ross taking responsibility for his company. There's really no way around it. And that's, to me, it shows growth and it definitely shows maturity in a situation man now like i said you know um they said that the di division dol um pretty much recovered about fifty two thousand dollars in wages owed to about 244 workers and fined the franchise company close to about sixty three thousand dollars in civil penalties for his particular action so it's a living you learn type of thing for rick ross right he took it on the chin and, and one thing that i thought that he said was key was that you fall forward like you know you don't take this you know as a l you take it as a lesson and i hope that he does do that and i know this is a different beast for rick ross this is not the music industry this is not liquor this is something totally totally different you have to any successful business owner understands that you have to treat your employees like gold right you got to make them want to be there they got to love to be there you got to cater to them because they are the lifeblood of the company. When you start doing stuff like this, you know, it, it trickles. It, re it really is a trickle down effect from the top where you got a janky, not saying that Rick Ross is this, but the janky CEO that don't really care. It is about profit over everything and they don't care about, you know, the workers and how they feel and the morale with a company because that's going to go into making sure you know that every single customer is going to be satisfied and you really want even though it's kind of hard with low earning jobs like this but you kind of really want everyone to treat this like it's their company you know how you had the manager or whatever you worked at taco bell mcdonald's Burger king they kind of ran this shit like it was their own building right but they was just managers that's the kind of effect you kind of want like you want people to take pride and care even if they making 12 dollars an hour like, you want them to take pride in everything. Take pride in dealing with the customers. Take pride in making sure things are clean. Take pride in making sure the oil is changed. But they're not getting paid, and they got to pay for little things here or there. 
background checks and stuff like that. I guarantee you they come in the word like, man, I hate this job, bro. I don't care about these wings. Let's burn them. I don't care about the customers. I'm fighting them. All that type of stuff. So it's a trickle-down effect, man. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Also, the article is at the top line of the description box, you know, from HipHopUN.com. Go check out the full article. Smash the like button. Share the video. But most importantly, let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this video about the feds cracking down on Rick Ross. It's your brother, Old Guy Man, Hip Hop News Uncensored. Over and out. Peace.